me again. The tape kind of had like a little flash. Maybe I'm running out of memory. Maybe. <laughs> well, I uh, was just talking about the fact that on this uh, Wednesday, the 27th of September, 2017, that we have done and we do things that aren't right. And because we did something that's not right does not mean that we need to give up on life or that we need to be framed in a, in a steel, concrete, rock-hard, box that we can't get out of. No doors, no windows. You're there. Stay. Stay. I have a little chihuahua at home that uh, I sleep with and uh, I'm always, stay. Chi Chi, stay. <laughs> I'm trying to get the dog to stay. <laughs> you know, I want the dog to stay there. Don't run away, little, little dog. Don't run away. And uh, so she's pretty good at staying. You know, she'll stay. And then she's so funny. She's like a little gopher. She will, she will get so slippery and so slick. And she climbs up underneath the pillows, and she just. And you can go in there, and you're like, you could be like taking the world apart or doing anything. And she's just in there, just you know, tucked in the pillows, just as dandy as can be. You know, and once in a while I'll call Chi 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 Chi, and then uh, she, uh, she just kind. You can hear the little pillows kind of move a little bit. You know. So, well, for us, for our life, for our ministry, for our hope, by the way, if you need to reach me, the tape might go at any time, I don't know why, <coughs> uh, call me, 213-713-8954, or... 8954greenatt.net on the Twitter, Mr. Bob at Bob Bob 8954 Of course, you're watching Bob's Daily Depot here on YouTube. And um, it's Wednesday, the 27th of September, 2017. And I was just sharing about how we can, what we've, what we've done, what we did, can sometimes become a blot upon our whole lives. And all people can see is, yeah, and you took that cookie. I know. I knew it. I knew you were a cookie thief. I knew you tripped your ma at the work. I knew you took that quarter out of daddy's wallet. I knew you're a bad person. You're a horrible, horrible person. And you can never, ever, ever make up for it. That's not the Bible. The Bible does not say that. The Bible says that we need to forgive endlessly. We need to, we need to continually reach out in grace. And... I don't think that that means that we should have zero consequences. There was a story of a drunkard who was uh, you know, in a ministry situation. Uh, and uh, the, the senior, there was a senior gal, senior gal, one of my good, good buddies. I'll be calling that person in a few minutes here. Got, got, uh, got to get some work done uh, out her way. And she was saying that she, she saw a new person that came into the sanctuary of the temple. And uh, the fellow was there and he reeked alcohol. He, he, this wasn't, this was like, I just did this like five minutes ago. The guy had just was a slosher. And he said to him, said about himself, he said, I'm a slosher. I'm a drunkard. I'm a bad, bad hombre. I'm, I'm, I'm bad news bears, mama. And uh, so... Uh, she said, would you like to get me a cup of coffee? I'll get you a cup of coffee. So she went to the lobby and got the coffee and came back. And then, then afterwards, uh, you know, one of the pastors sat with her, sat with a fella. And uh, so uh, he was brought up, well, would you like to have some money for lunch? And this man, under the power of the Holy Spirit, under the conviction of the Holy Spirit, he said to her very kindly, he said, ma'am, don't give me money. Because I will simply take that money and I'll spend it on something that I shouldn't be spending it on. And it goes back to what I talked about earlier. That if you want to be a big blessing, then go to McDonald's and have these McDonald's cards. And just toss a McDonald's card. Give them four bucks for, you know, McDonald's or five bucks. And say, here, here's, you know, get yourself a good hot meal. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be McDonald's. It can be any place. But 
give them a car that they can't spend on something else. And it was uh, funny because I went into what my little spot I go to every morning. I got free bagels all this month, so I've been going down to Panera Bread, our sponsor. And there was a guy out in front. I got a kite. I want to buy my gift card. I have a kite. I, I want to sell it. I'm like, I can't do that, I man. How do we know the gift card is valid in the first place? You know, how do we know it's valid in the first place? And if it is valid, then, you know, I mean, what did I do with the Red Cross? Well, I've done a lot with the Red Cross, and right now I am going to be getting a, going through a ceremony on Friday at the Red Cross where I'm going to get a basket, and I've done this before, I get a basket and gift cards and goodies and apples and candies, and it's really cool. And uh, so I'll be doing that because I'm up to over 900 donations with the Red Cross for the platelets. So that's uh, pretty amazing. So uh, now I'll be up to 1,000. That's going to be the coolest. 1,000. I'm almost there. So pray in Jesus' name that I keep my good health and that I am uh, able to get to the 1,000. That'll be really amazing. To be there at 1,000 donations. Wow. Then 1,100, 1,200, 1,000. Then 4,000. <laughs> Oh, God, uh, Corey, go get silly here, 4,000 donations. <laughs> I should have started a little early if I wanted to do all that. But righty. you have any questions for me, give me a call. This is Bob, and chickens out of the chicken house and I've talked to that person for time after time after time after time and today I couldn't find the, the two bunnies so I put it on my list today to buy a lock and a chain I'm gonna lock that gate up and uh, I'm not gonna get my face in his face I'm not going to uh, put my finger down their throat I'm not going to ridicule and embarrass and shame but they're just not gonna have a key to that part of the farmyard you know we're not going to be able to do that because I got brand new bunnies and I couldn't find them turned out they were in a toy box with a kitty we have a brand new kitten also so the little kitten was there warming up and keeping the two little bunnies so it's like what is this some kind of a cartoon it was so cute so I whispered to mama the more I said mama I have a I have a real bad feeling that that uh, you know our, our brother uh, has left the you know, let, let the two little bunnies go. I just got them like three days ago, so I was like, how do I break the news to the kids? So then the the youngest, one of the youngest fellas of the house, he was like, hey, I know the rabbit. I thought I was whispering. I know where the rabbits are. And and he and he goes to the toy box. And there's he he brings in these two little bundles of joy. I'm like, oh boy, thank the Lord. So I gave him some alfalfa, big big bunch of alfalfa. And I um, got them back in the hen house, and I'm going to get that lock. So sometimes, yeah, you have to change things. Sometimes you have to have a timeout. Sometimes you have to have some consequences. But it doesn't mean it's eternal. It doesn't mean that if something goes wrong somewhere else on the planet, we look back to, to, to uh, Joe. Yeah, Joe, you're the one. You're the, you're the one who always screws up. You're a screw-up. 
If it wasn't for you, the whole world would be better. That's not right. Come on. Joe is not that powerful. There's not one person that's that powerful. It always takes a group of people. Let's pray that we're, we're good people today. Let's pray that we're godly people. Let's pray that we are we're his people today. Let's pray that we have the, the joy of the Lord as our strength. I keep seeing all these Kia souls everywhere today. I don't know, like a thousand Kia souls. Oh, 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 oh. You want to get together, give me a call. If you want to go to the uh, open house hospital potluck, uh, let me know, and we'll, we will make sure to work that out for you and get it to where you can come and uh, join us. Uh, whether we're at the Golden Corral or we're at the uh, Casa La Victoria, <clears throat> my boss is one of my old bosses' relatives needs some support, so I'm going to be uh, be out to have more full time out out this way, and I'll be able to. Uh, Help the family. God bless you today. Pray with the kids. Pray with your wife. Pray with your brothers and sisters. Get to church. And I pray that they never let you, you know, let you have a sabbatical from church. Well, you know what? Just don't be coming around here no more. That's the last thing you want to hear from the church, isn't it? <laughs> it's just puzzling. Well, we got other issues. Other issues. The furniture. What about the furniture? Uh, I just started. I'm going to go for a class today about noontime. And look, it's Halloween time at uh, California Adventure. September 15th through October 31st. It's all purple and they got a car with like fangs on it. And, wow. Who knew? 80 do. Remember 80 do? 80 do. Just approaching Rosemead now. Let's see, so 9:13. So if I, uh, I'll be able to get to uh, time. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna let you go and look forward to sharing with you. I appreciate uh, all of you so much. God bless you in Jesus' name.